Hey, hello everybody, welcome back today. It's a very good day for us all. Um, a few days ago, uh, a few days ago, the Steam page for Yosemite Forest Ranger went live. And um, hello everybody, I hope that it will all just, just work. We might have a slight bit of um, performance issues, but we'll see. It should be fine. Hello everybody, welcome back. Watching at this animation wants to re Oh, you want to recreate it in Blender with proper physics? By all means, Chef Dave, I, st I would love to. If you have the time, I would love it. Um, but a few days ago, your, the, the Steam page for Yosemite Forest Ranger went live. I pinned it in the top of the YouTube chat. So go wishlist it now if you haven't done that yet. And um, yeah, we're just going to work on a few things today. Because even though it is wish listable, it is nowhere near com Oh, excuse me. It's nowhere near complete. And it is not even close to um, a point where I would feel comfortable uh, releasing it. So let's just keep on trucking, keep on working on this thing. And uh, let's see if we can pump out some more cool stuff so that we get closer to that goal. All right. I hope everybody's doing good. I will uh, turn on some music in a second here. And then I uh, will just keep on trucking. So right now, we are, um, we are uh, the, the visitor center is somewhere over here. And we are creating a new road from here towards the abandoned village and beyond. So yeah, there was a few, one of the few things that still needed to happen. I'm also going to make a hiking trail from the visitor center somewhere through here towards the abandoned village and a dirt road going into the actual village. This is going to be an asphalt road or what you call it, pavement, I guess, that is also running here and then over here. Just preparing for the future and logical things because, I mean, at some point you gotta be able to drive places right i mean even though it is a forest and everything you still got to be able to drive places so yeah let's um let's keep on trucking here working with the spline tool here and um yeah that lets me place a line here that basically kind of uh, alters the surrounding landscape a little bit just enough to make a road part here and then once it's done i'll just replace this green line basically with a mesh and um, a pavement material so it actually looks like a road instead of a weird squiggly green line oh keep on trucking all right now i need to check where i was going here this way all right so I hope everybody is having a good weekend up until now. And um, I am. I've been working hard. and uh, But enjoying. But enjoying, of course. Now let me get that music going. Otherwise, it's just me talking. And yeah. I mean, that's fine and all. But you guys probably want to hear some more music. Um, okay, let's see. What, what do we have? What do we have? I have no idea. Let's see. Because there is a lot of categories here. It all says like so many hundred uh, tracks. And when I click it, it's like, yeah, no, we don't have anything. And that's because I, of course, want a YouTube save list. Um, let's... I don't know. Um, hype bangers. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. I guess. And if you want to know what song is playing currently, you can check that out in the Twitch chat. The thingy will pop in the titles of the songs in there. If you guys have any questions about what I'm doing or how stuff works i will try to answer it don't be afraid to ask your questions 
you have answers or questions, I mean, oh, it's loud in my ears. Why is it so loud in my ears? Okay, there we go. If you have questions about the game that we're creating or, um, let's see, how's the volume here? Is it good? Oh, it's a little bit loud, isn't it? I don't know. Twitch, yes. I hope that the bot does, the bot works because it's, it's not, it's, it's a little tricky. It hasn't been working in a while. Stupid thing. I guess this is better. Yeah, this is good. I guess this is good. Okay, let me turn it back into performance mode. Okay, there we go. Um, but if you have any questions about the game or anything, feel free to ask them. And um, it is a bit loud. Okay, I'll turn it down a bit more. Thanks. Maybe something like this. We'll see. Let's see how that is. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be big crap music. Okay, let's see. I feel like... I, oh, not here. <laughs> so what I did... Uh, wakey, wakey, SL. Yeah, Streamlabs sucks. Dude, I am such in, in like a internal dilemma. Because um, the payment for Streamlabs Prime was just held off. Or how do you say that? Was was um, transferred. PayPal automatic uh, thingy. And I am so, so in internal dilemma if I should just like refund or like reprimand or so. Or what do you call it? Like just get my cash back and just go like F you. I don't want it anymore. It doesn't work anyway. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. It also has some nice features that I don't really want to get elsewhere. So it's it's kind of, I mean, dubio, if that's also an English word. Bing, 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 bing. Refund it. Yeah, you want, you, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's been, it's been kind of a dick to me in the whole past year that I paid for it. So... That is exactly what I am thinking, right? Like refund it or just keep it because it also has some conveniences. I mean, the biggest problem that I have and why I would refund it is because that bot is only working half the time. They have a lot of nice other features that kind of work well, I guess. Yes. Hoppa. Put the road inside the trees, beam. Okay, now now we have some stuff growing through the road, and those are mostly the pick up a balls or the forage balls, as I call them. Oh, because they are placed uh, procedurally. What the hell is this music? Breath. Hmm. Ah oh, well, we'll just give it a chance. Okay, that's the whole road all the way. Oh my god. It's a long way. Okay. Okay. Now I just grab this and just pull it out a little bit more so it kind of blends into this road. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to find my road piece. Um was it brush it by? I think so. Yes, hello, thank you. And then meshes, roads, meshes. I don't know why it's, why they put it away so far, but yeah, it is what it is. And then I click on spline meshes so I can uh, assign a mesh to the spline. And then you'll see in a second, it will pop with the white or like the default mesh texture. And then, what I will do now is add an override material and that material will be the road asphalt road thingy that we created a while ago. Bomb. Oh, beautiful. Now we have a tiny little road. Wow. Now what we can do at some point if you want to be really anal about this is um, go with the procedural um, 
all the grass that you see is part of the landscape material and what we can do is there is like a remove procedural grass and stones uh, layer oh, yeah. thing oh, yeah. that I can uh, paint uh, I can use that to paint over the road so that the grass don't grow through the road anymore however I'm not really sure if I really want that because I also kind of like it you know I'm not sure yet but that is always something we can do really quickly, so not an issue. All right, let's make sure this blends a little bit better with the other road. Oh, oh, easy there, boy. Yeah, okay. Get in here. I might have to turn down my camera move because it's going a little bit quickly. Yeah, there we go. Pop it up a bit, rotate it a bit, I guess. Well, okay, it's not too bad. Go, and then pull it in a little bit more. I think this is pretty acceptable. Yeah. Okay. And then what we do now is save, of course, always save a lot. That's called a lawnmower. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, I d if you have to mow all the grass in this whole forest park thingy, I feel sorry for you. Better just use a crop duster with some uh, grass killer. <laughs> Anti uh, whatever it's called. Now, as you guys might have seen in the Discord, I have um, let 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 pour in the drink here. One second. As the most of you might have seen in the Discord, I have been able finally to build a shipping package for uh, the Unreal project, and what that basically means is. I've been playing the game every now and then to show you guys footage and stuff um, and I've been playing that inside the editor and if you want to um, distribute your software or your game you have to package it so it's installable with, through like uh, Steam and such right so um, I need to come on pick up so um, I have to package it so you can install it uh, at home um, and it has to compile all the code and it can give a lot of errors. It's like every programmer's nightmare to compile your code because usually you end up very depressed and hurt because your code is not compiling. And I've had that for a little while as well until uh, a few days ago like yesterday or the day before yesterday i don't remember i finally got it to compile and package so that's a really great step as well because it's nice and all to have a steam page and be building a game but if you can't package it to distribute it that sucks pull the camel mill back up a bit oh yeah <laughs> or a liter of petrol and a match. Yeah, that will do. <laughs> that will do the trick as well. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Berry bush. We can't have those in the middle of the road now, can we? Hmm. Crazy. Nature. Am I right? Just kidding. There we go. Yeah. So this is kind of stupid, but basically, I don't mind if there is like a bit of chamomile growing in the road because basically it's a herb, but it's also a weed mostly so I'm okay with that being in the in the road trees in the road yeah I find that a little more troublesome there we go go out of the way hello tree show up go so, oh, whatever I don't know why it's like disappearing like that that's crazy Oh well, whatever. Um, okay, now I just need to go a little bit this 
not too bad if it's like a bit, but no. no. Wow, I don't know what that what's happening with that. It's like when it's colliding with other plants, it's just like nope, I'm not gonna do that. Kill me. And it just dies. I don't know. Here another berry bush. Camera still a little bit fast. Get out of here, nature. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, basically, we are being very human right now, am I right? We need a road here. Nature, get out of my way, please. <laughs> there we go, just delete those. Oh, wrong button. Yeah. We have here, that's okay, that's fine by me. A little peppermint growing in the road. I'm not going to mind all the peppermint that we will find on the way because peppermint... You will find peppermint in the Yosemite Valley in abundance. Here, another one. You will find peppermint in abundance, but it will not do much for your hunger or your... Uh, thirst just a little bit you know? because if there is something and it is a lot of it you don't want it to be too op so we just nerf it a bit that's basically how everything works in life if it's too op you nerf it right Oop. stick can already feel the build-up coming in the song. No, like that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, oh, I called it. Give it side a little bit. Nice berry bush again. Yeah, so in the Yosemite Valley you will find, um, let me think, how many different, uh, I think five or six different berries with each their own status effects, like one is a little bit better for your hunger, one is a little bit worse, has all to do with the amount of sugar and shit that's in there, I don't know, I'm not a biologist, but I just made that up on the spot, no. Yeah, so right now these are all fences, just um, like fencing off the gaming area, the game area. Oh, come on. Okay, road is clear. Clear enough. Good. Okay, um, great, great. Now what we want to do is in the abandoned village here, we want some kind of dirt road or something. Now you can see this one is really abandoned. There's plants and shit everywhere and trees have started to grow in between. There's still some stuff here that is left over from testing and other artifacts and craziness that one lazy developer needs to delete but hey you know what you know what it is. 
So what I want to do is I want to bring the dirt road, I think, somewhere up here. And then basically... Let's see what we can do here. Um, What would be a logical step? Looking a little bit at the geography here. Okay, so what we do is we select all of our foliage here. We have placed in the world that is trees and ferns mostly. At least that's what I placed on my own tail. Please don't do things like that if you can. I remember when Activision made a little boo-boo and you could fell through the map in Warzone. Oh no, they did. Please don't do what? You mean like the fly through over the map? Okay, will do. Will not do. <laughs> oh wow, I haven't heard this song in ages. Jesus, this is so good. I think this is a good point to split off. Then we grab 500. The road itself should be around 400 wide. Yeah, kinda. Not really, is it? It kinda is. Oh well, it's fine. And then we basically just delete trees and nature that are in the path of greatness. Good luck there, C. I have a few things to do for tomorrow. If you're still going, I'll check back later. All right, dude. Yeah, I'll be going for a while. Thank you for stopping in. It's nice to see you again, Dave. And uh, good luck with what you're going to do. Hopefully see you in a bit then. Thanks for stopping by. Hi Dave, thanks dude. Talk to you later. How are you doing Rob? I saw you checking in here a little bit earlier. And of course your beautiful go away nature thing. How are you doing buddy? Hope you're doing good. Oh fuck. I think I'll... I might just put it a little bit more like this and then... Um, yeah, let's then go somewhere up until there. And I basically just put it up a little bit further and basically just kind of drop it in the ground over here. And then we have to do that when the actual road thing is on there. It's really weird. That kind of is, but it's okay. Okay, okay, yeah. This one definitely needs to come in closer, though. And then we put on the mesh again. 
select uh, all segments and then spline mesh yeah I'm sorry if the if the music is not good I have no idea what this music is if you want to hear anything else we got metal and everything let me know we used to have a very nice um, playlist that we used before but i also know that it's not everybody's taste so that's the reason it's not on right now ah, there we go beautiful yeah there we go okay Hold it a bit Uh. Yeah, this is not really my taste of music, so I think I'm gonna change it in a little bit here. Oh, fuck, dude, why is that? Grass here is too high. Okay, then we'll just have to move it out a bit. Oh, that's way too large. Holy Jesus. Not maybe? No, it's a too much. 120. Right? Okay, that's not working. We'll take the sculpt and then we'll just tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Oh shit. Uh. doing here oh okay yeah no that's not good um what we can do here is grab the flatten tool make it smaller then just go like that. go a bit like this Okay, then we grab the smooth tool again. That's better. Okay, now we go back to manage and then dirt road and this blind point. Pull it up a little bit. That's more like it. All right. Dip it down a bit so it blends in with the asphalt. Yes. I guess this is about acceptable. Yes. You know what I think it is actually? Fuck. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh. It's so hard to satisfy me. What she said. Like this, maybe? I guess this is as, bad, as good as we can get. I hate it when this happens. Yeah, there we go.
Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough, don't touch it anymore. <laughs> okay, and then over here, what I want to do. Um, manage your growth, this one. And just kind of push it down, you know, so it just kind of, you know, yeah, like that. Uh-huh. Now what we can do is go into the paint mode and then go to this layer and then grab the mud one and then we wait a bit until it's done having a bit of hard time dance club makes yeah i guess 21 c today i'm not used to it wow is that cold for you or warm because that is like about springtime for us Maybe not. Back to the forest layer. Yeah, this might work. Okay. I guess. Make it a little bit more red here. So hard. Jesus. Ah, oh, whatever. Perfect. Okay. Beam, beam, beam. Now we have this one stupid bush here again. Oilage. Blacked. Flick. Move it out of the road. Ooh. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna... Temps have been so low lately. Is that low for you? Jeebus. Okay. Um, I am going to turn on some... Emo music. Which is basically just the metal list or rock list that we've had for a while. Our channel. Yeah, I can't handle that. Re. I'm a perfectionist and it sucks. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is save again, just to be sure. It's been 4C or lower mostly until today. Oh, okay. Oh, like that. So 21 is high. Yeah, we've had quite the sunny weather lately as well. I mean, we had um, when uh, Storm Eunice was around. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but it was a pretty hardcore storm for our for the, the well the winds and such that we are used to over here 
And then Eunice came and we had a lot of rain a lot of the times. And then all of a sudden, now it's been the past week or so, it's been super, super nice actually. Like sunny and shit, it's crazy. Okay, and since this is like a nice cross point here, I think a street lights will be good here. Yeah, beautiful. You heard about it? Yeah, it was uh, pretty heavy. I mean, it's nothing compared to countries that are used to getting tornadoes or hurricanes or whatever. But we don't, we don't really have that strong winds. You know, it was pretty, uh, pretty intense. A lot of property damage and such. Let's see, I am thinking here, a hiking trail past the visitor center, let's just go up a little bit. Just to get a little overview. I hope this is a bit visible for you guys, but right here in the bottom, where all the white and green lines come together, is the visitor center. We have the dirt road and the asphalt in the... What is this? The top right corner going to the left or to the middle top and i was thinking since this whole part on the left here is quite empty let's make a hiking trail here from the abandoned village like just meandering a little bit here towards the visitor center that's what i'm thinking and if, if, we, if that is done, we're gonna work on some coding to get generators working. Sounds cool? All right. Yeah, so what we're gonna do after this is um, I have right now in the game, there are at least two places that have a generator outside and that have power. So it's a cabin and it's the radio tower. I'll show you in a minute once this, this, this hiking trail is done. Um, and um, the funny thing about that um, generator is it's going to be broken when you find it. So you come to the cabin, you want to flick on the light switch and the lights don't work. And there is like a voice line that says like, hmm, the power is out. Maybe I should check if the generator is whatever. Uh, maybe I should check the generator or something like that. Then you walk to the generator and the generator is broken and you need to have a tool in your inventory or equipped. I'm not sure about that and how I will go about the code. Um, but if you have the, the design tool that you need, you can fix the generator and then it will turn on and um, you will uh, be able to turn the lights on and off. Um, if you do not have the tool, it will just tell you again that it's broken and um, yeah, that's that's basically kind of the thing that I'm, I'm going for. So there are a few things that we need to connect then in the code together, like the light switch and, and such. So it's a, it's a nice little experiment. So let's start with this road real quick or this, this trail. So we can get into that more fun and interesting parts. At least I think it is. 
the actual gameplay in gameplay mechanics instead of stupid trails and such now let me first for a second check how wide these paths are right here i'm not sure anymore Oh yeah, this is not really a good comparison. It's 100 and 200. Okay, cool. Let's then create a path of 200 wide to keep clear that it's a path. Then we go to foliage. We have everything still selected that we need, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then we go to erase. We want a brush size of 200. Okay. And then we're gonna erase the bejeebus out of it. Let's see. So we're in front of the visitor center. And then there will be a path going this way, I guess. Ah, thank you. Yeah, perfect. Well, let's see, where do we need to go roughly? That way. Now I want to go a little bit this way. Okay. Now, <laughs> I have been trying this a couple of times myself while playing. And I want to stay away a little bit of the edge. Because it's really scary when it's dark and you're walking around with your um, lantern. And you can you can see only a few meters around your character, right? So we want it to be uh, not too too close to the edge because you might just not look enough, and then bloop, and that's the end of the story. It's the end of Theodore Thompson. All right. So this. Problem is that I have the calling distance pretty low. So that means that um, the the farther away I get from the trees, they will unload to um, save resources. But that also makes it harder for me to work globally because I have to zoom in and out to see where I am. This way. Actually, the nice part about having a trail go through here is also that it's like the forageables that you need to grab to survive, right? They are everywhere and mostly off trail. So, by having an extra trail here, oh yeah, let's go this way. That's a nice ride. By going a uh, by having trails go through forested areas, you're coming closer to the actual forageables, which is something you need to not die. Okay, let's see. We were here. Yeah, go here. Um. Oh. Okay. Bye, tree. Yep. That's a nice part about the hiking trails. They don't have to be so wide. Oh, just meander a little bit over here. Let's see where it's far. Here. Go. I don't know if you got... Meander is a normal English word, right? Just hope I'm making sense, but... Anybody doesn't know that word meandering is the same thing a river does naturally. It's kind of goes Oh, hey raptor. What's up, bro? Uh, meandering is basically the natural curves that uh, the The rivers have and this path should have a little bit too. So 
to the abandoned villages over there. Now we can go this way around it. I think that is the best way geography. Yeah, that's the best way. Okay. I lost the trail. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah and then we go this way. How are you doing, Raptor? Nice to see you here again. We're building a new game for the future gamers here. Wishlist on Steam now. Check the pinned message in the top of chat. <laughs> Tell all your friends. And friends. Alright, there we go. Yeah, this is a nice path. Here we go. A little bit over here. I don't know why everything else plops out when I'm erasing a little bit of vegetation here, but it just does. Then we come around this hill right... Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, let's go through here. I'm just gonna cut through the trees here a little bit because the path might be a little bit obscured. And when it's dark, it's gonna be hard enough to find the path. I still need to work on the lantern mechanic a little bit because it's... I don't know. I like that it lights only a little bit around you, but it's also like only so little around you that it lights, you know? So... I might need to look into how we can make that better. Oh, fuck. I went up the hill here. Oh, well. But that, yeah, that actually kind of is. Going left here a bit. No, wait, we're already too far. Need to go. Yeah, from here. Yeah, this way. Said we were going around. going around the hill and right there I'm cutting straight up the hill which is not what I want needs to be natural nice here underneath the trees and then we can go up the hill a little bit over here to the side I guess Ryan Campbell, hi dude, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good today. Okay, now go up this way. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, that's great actually. Go this way, yeah, perfect. Or But now we can go through here actually. That's nice. Yeah. Great. This way, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yes. All right, and now comes the annoying part. Trying to find it back. Should be fine. Starts 
here. One, David, real quick. Take a sip of my drink in the meantime. Okay, maybe a few sips. Mm. Got to stay hydrated, am I right, guys? Okay. When it's done saving, we're going into the landscape mode and we're going to put down the splines for the path. There we go. Landscape. Spline hiking path. Here we go. Make it so easy. Plus 100 and 200. One fit. No, I'll make it 200. That's fine. Yeah, there you go. What I'm gonna do now is. Um, nope. Segments. Layer name. I'm gonna call this mud. And what that should do, like it did, is going to paint it into the mud layer. You can see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. There we go. And then basically we're just going to click. Oh uh, yeah, boy. Yep, and then we oh we make the curve here. Play. The nice part about this spline tool is it basically lowers and raises the terrain a little bit everywhere I click it, so it's kind of well especially when there is a large difference in the terrain height. And we can change it a little bit like right here. I, if I want it to be a little bit more clear that this is a path, I can uh, pop up control points and then set the side fall off here to 300. And what it does then is create, well, makes the path paths fall off a little bit wider. So it also paints a little bit wider. And if I put that lower, to 200 again and put the actual path width to 150 it becomes a little bit wider and it will also adjust the terrain a little bit more which might be a good thing for us here whoa 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 whoa, whoa. wrong button <laughs> always get a little bit anxiety when i make a mistake like that because unreal engine 5 is still a little bit temperamental because of the uh, early access and well, it's not early access kind of, but it's a preview version now, but you know, it's still a little bit finicky here and there. And if you ask too much of it, it might kind of kill itself. Go this way. Can't dry out, no exactly. You know how it is. Thurston Thurston always needs drinks and water and sodas. You gotta make sure that I stay hydrated, huh? And once we're done here with the path, we can uh, go and check if it 
how the um, the actual fall off looks and if the path is not too wide because I think personally it is a little bit too wide for the area that it is in but we'll check that out now. Oh, we didn't go this way after all. Sorry about the camera movement guys, I'm pressing the wrong buttons the whole time. That goes the other way of where I wanted to go. Kinda stupid, but it is what it is. Here we go again, damn it. Now I am in the process guys of um Did I lost it again? No I did not. Now I am in the process of um basically getting a early test version ready for the people that are closest um to the whole development process so they can help me test the features that are in there now. And if you guys go to the Steam page, if you haven't done that yet, you can see what features we offer now in the game when it goes in early access. And you can also see what will be in the game, one, uh, what, what we are planning on putting in here in the game uh, according to the future plans and roadmaps, kind of. I don't really want to call it a roadmap because usually a roadmap has sort of defined times on it. I don't really have that. It's just more or less what I feel like working about or of course what the highest requested elements are. But we also, once the test version goes out, I need to find a fine balance between working on bugs and gameplay fixes and creating new content. You know? But that's kind of uh, always a hard, hard thing to figure out. But it'll be okay. We can do this. I need to take a left here, I remember that. Take your words back home. But back way nice and slow. Feel the ebb and flow. Please get sucked out to see. I wonder where you are. You know I take these things kind of extra hard This back and forth will take me anywhere oh, yeah. I need to be Going underneath the tree here this Yeah, here we go. Almost there, guys. Hang in there. You can already see the village. Let's be honest, I 
Yeah. All right. Yeah, boy. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Now I'll just put it one more over there. All right. The nice part about a hiking trail made of mud and dirt is that we don't really have to spend time to move the small things out of the way like the peppermint and such because that can also just grow in a dirt path i think i don't really mind that now these sticks i don't know not too sure about those but most of this and i'm sorry for the fly through here just checking how everything looks, but I think it's pretty much okay here. There was one berry bush all over at the visitor center. Here, look, this is what I meant with the fall off and the whiteness. I think this is good because then when it's dark, you can clearly distinct that the path goes that way. Oh, this is actually not too bad. We can kind of fix this. Take your words back home. Back way, nice and slow. Yeah, there we go. Feel the ebb and flow. Please get sucked out to sea. Loop. A little bit more like this. Perfect. And we have the back staircase here, which we can um, paint a little bit with the uh, uh, bu 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 mud layer right here. I'm going with 80 instead of um, 80 instead of um, 100 like the other path was. And now I just need to... Just need to paint it really hard because I have it on slight bend, blend. I think yeah, the tool strength is 0.3 so that means that it's not gonna paint a very hard dirt piece here. Not perfect, it's not perfect, but it's good enough, I guess. You can also see that the dirt, the dirt here uh, grows less grass. You see, if I paint it really hard in there, there will be less grass in there. Opposed to the actual grass on the ground. Beautiful. Then we go back to foliage and erase. 
yeah perfect and I just kind of take away a little bit of those ferns here because they are too much in the path and then back in the landscape painter all the way in the bottom here we have to remove the foliage tool so I'm going to do that a little bit over here because I think it's just a little bit too harsh grass anyway. Yeah, like this indicates a little bit better that there is an actual path up here. Love it. Perfect. Okay, cool. Done with that part go back to the foliage tool once more a little bit select because i want to drag and drop a few of these plants around going over this path real quick because I know somewhere there is one thick tree that is really not this one but also this one just when it's a little bit more like that it's less annoying where is it ah here it is yeah this is a pretty big one that is just a little too much on the trail if you ask me if it's like that it's way better great okay. yep yeah perfect okay cool then once again we're gonna save and then we're gonna work on the generator code and for that we're gonna steal some code of the other parts of other uh, things that we already built um, more to drink how oh, yeah woop, 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 woop. I think you're the only one watching Rob how was that take a sip yeah, dude, definitely. Oh, so thirsty. It's crazy. Yeah, I think so. There's. It says right here, I only have two viewers. And it's either you and somebody else or it's you and myself. Okay, let's see. I'm going to up the speed of the camera a bit. And... So let me show you what I've done before today as well. Here's the radio tower. And, ooh, oof, ooh, ooh, ew, what the fuck? How did that happen? Oh boy. That is not good. Let me just fix that real quick. 
you. My lord. Okay, we're gonna sculpt this a bit more. Um, sculpt. Bitch, come on. I guess it's not too bad to have a little bit of a side here, or a little bit of an edge. Okay, the rest is good. Okay. So, yeah. Back to the generator. Here is a generator, which is right now just a placeholder. And the idea that we have is character comes here to the radio tower and the character walks to the door okay that's a really slow character Jesus. trying to show something here you guys okay, there we go. now you interact with the door door opens and then here you have the actual dj radio thing and there is light switches on the walls here right and these light switches don't work if the uh, generator isn't on. So what we are going to do... Hey Mr. Fox and Slim Pickens, what's up guys? Hey Mini Fox, well, hello everybody, welcome to the stream. We're just doing some game development here. Thank you for joining us. I hope you will enjoy it. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is we are going to create an interactable object Which of course we have a template for because otherwise it's boring and a lot of work and what do we not like a lot of work exactly um, We have the doors and we have props Light switches um, I'm thinking what the best way, what the best course be here. I think just 
Mm. Let me wait. Let me check. Actually, check the door master. Where is it here? Double door. No, this one. The door master. Because the door master has already. Oh, it's open from this side. The door master actually has already a dependency and it's locked if you are not having a key and there's an item needed which it will check against your inventory which is basically kind of what we want to do here yeah that's what, okay i will just um Duplicate this, rename this interaction location Jenny Master. Bam. Oh, typo. I don't like it when there is a typo in there. Me neither, bruh. Okay, there we go. Then in the gameplay elements, I am going to. Is it a prop? Yeah, not. Yeah, it kind of is, right? And it's not like we're gonna have 10 million. Um, folder light, which is move all of these into that folder. Wait a little bit. Hopefully, it won't crash. Oh my god, what did I do? Okay. I'm gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call that Jenny's or Jenny, Jenny's. Jenny's is my word for generator. Gameplay elements, doors. We grab this one and move it to the Jenny's, move here. We'll wait a little bit it's done i'm gonna save it again just to be sure that we don't lose anything using some heavy music dude sounds very depressing so it does it i mean it gives me energy <laughs> I mean, we also have a synth wave or something, or blues maybe. Is there blues music? Nope, there is no blues music. Uh, we have chip tune. Punk. Nope. Oh yeah. Well, is is that already depressing? I mean. You should hear the, the usual music I listen to. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, no, let's... Oh, I can't go back? No? Oh, that's stupid. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, here. Let's just click this one. For someone with borderline, I guess, like me. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, okay. Now let's see. Let's do some coding here. Now we have a generator right here, and we have one all the way down at one of the cabin sides. Let me show you. Oh. There we go. This cabin has a little portable generator oh this camera speed dude okay here we go yeah and both of the generators kind of have the same thing they need to be turned on or repaired actually and then turned on and i am going to think about a way to make that happen So I'm thinking, I have a screwdriver and I have a wrench item. So I think I kind of want to do the same thing as I did with the door before. Uh, bum, here we go. Door master here, Jenny. So what we have here is a boolean. 
Mm, check if door is locked on the side follow action. Check if check if broken. Yes. This boolean is going to be renamed to is broken. There you go. Mm. And then this whole part is about the door opening. We can delete this because this is will not have a door opening animation. Um, this also has an item needed, which will be tool. Yeah, we don't have that, so I'll just leave it empty for now. None. Um, yeah. So then, if the thing is broken, it needs to have a tool. Um, and I want to also check um, Get current equipped Check if it's equipment and get possible equipment. Uh, um, need to think. Let's see. Um, lantern have that? No, really. To do that. Uh. I wanna make sound. Um, yeah, so I am right now going to have to check in some of the code if we have a, um, What I want to do right now is I want to use, we have the whole inventory system and what I want to do is that you need to have the tool equipped. So you need to have it and you need to have it equipped before you can turn the generator on, right? So, um, equipped equipment. Oh. Equipment, equipment, okay. Oh, 
I also have this one which has functions. Get item from inventory item, yeah. Check if equipment if it's equipment and different actions. Find the index of the first instance of the item within not what we want then. Take your words back home. Um
find the existing slot indexes. This works the same. Only weapon. Item found. for Toma. Yeah, there we go. Take your words back home. Back I don't know if this is going to work how the, the way I want it to, but let's add the screwdriver in this part. Oh, fuck. Screwdriver. Here we go. Item equipped screwdriver here. Print ring. Works question mark? Okay. Um Item found in equipment slot. Uh, branch, I need a brand. True works. Uh, false is also print string. I'm gonna call this. Wah, wah. Um, this can go. This one can go. So this is also for me just a little puzzling and seeing what works. Okay, this needs to be generator, Jenny, let's call it Jenny, Jenny, okay, yep, okay, okay, 
Um, mm, let's fly back to. Uh, how are we? Oh, here. Okay. Let's fly to the main cabin or like the lakeside cabin as I call it because this is mainly our staging area where we test stuff anyway oh too fast okay what I will do now is I am going to uh, interaction locations, gameplay elements, props, jennies, and I'm going to plop this generator right here, which is the thing we just created. Um, what I'm also going to do, which I didn't do yet, is add the false thing. So if it's broken, which we can set by hand, if it's broken, it will check if we have, at least I hope it works the way I am trying it now. If it's broken, it will check if there is an, a screwdriver equipped in our hand. If it is, then it will say works. If it doesn't, it will say wah wah or it will just break all together. Um, and if it's not broken yeah we don't really need anything for that okay yes yeah okay so here we're gonna click is broken and what I then want to do as well is to print pick up to print child props Screwdriver. I want to put a screwdriver down here. So we can pick up the screwdriver. Mm. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> Let's put a table underneath it or something. Table. Meshes. We have something real quick here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. We have the screwdriver here. We have the generator here. Now oh, let's test it out. Select the fuel board. Yeah. Pick up the screwdriver, equip it, oh shit now I need to keep an eye on the top, works, it works, no, no, what if I unequip it though, wah wah, oh my god it works, <laughs> Well, that is fairly easy. I did not expect it to be this easy, but that's nice. I'm not gonna complain or anything. No explosions. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Okay. Okay. Let's save before anything breaks again. 
Okay. That is actually very, very good. I did not expect it to work that well right away out of the box. But I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna complain right here. Okay, now we can build upon that since it seems to work. If I don't have it, um, yeah, okay. So basically what we need to do then I'm going to do that just like this. Set is broken to false. Okay. Um. Okay, you know what? Let me actually clean it up here a bit because I'm already going crazy. Um, 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 this one can go away. This one can go away. This one can go away. I think this may be two, but um, I might actually just disconnect these. Um, Let me think, this can go, this can go, and this can go, this we need. If broken. Jack, if correct, tool is equipped. That. And then I'm going here. This one will need as well because that's simply just playing a sound. Um, just cleaning it up a bit here. Okay. So this part of the code just basically checks when the generator is broken. Uh, it checks if it's broken. If it's broken, you need to have a... A tool so let's see um, if you have the tool set is broken to false and um, yeah and it's also going to play a sound Clean this up a little. All good things must end, but it's been too long since I've seen one again. We don't need the branch here because we already did that before. Um, may not get very far. Let's be 
where the audio will spawn should actually be this one um, yeah. Hello. Clean code is good code, I guess. Then it will play a sound which will be Dan's voice line with something like, ah, got it fixed, beautiful, oh, yeah, or something like that. Or just attack it with a screwdriver and it should be fixed. Okay. And if it's if it's false, it should also play sound, actually. Come on. My mouse is so annoying lately. We'll see. B right there. Um, if it's false, it will also play a sound, but then it will say... Um... Yeah. So if it's um, if uh, let me check. I'm trying to make this as understandable as I can, and also as un understandable for you guys. So it checks if it's broken. If it's broken, then um, if it's broken, then it will check if you have a screwdriver or a tool in your inventory if you have it equipped even if it's equipped um, if it is equipped it will set the status to not broken and it will play a sound of Dan saying like oh I got it fixed not nah, something like that if you don't have a screwdriver equipped um, Yeah, if it's broken, if it's broken and you do not have a screwdriver equipped, it will say, um, it will also do a voice line with something like, oh, I think I might need a tool to fix this darn thing or something like that. Um, yeah. And then when you interact again, it will check the whole thing again. So then if it's come on. if it's not broken, we want to make sure we can turn it on, right? Fucking mouse dude, it's so annoying. Okay, let's see. Um Uh, if it's not broken, we want to turn it on. And for that, we need a new variable, which is um, is is on question mark, which is a boolean. not broken we can turn it on that
I don't know if this is going to work right away. Um, I also need to then import the sound. And then we need these two again, control C. And that's self, because now we want the sound at the thing. Um, yeah. I want to make sound. I want to change everything. I think I'm going to put this in here as a uh, precaution if it's broken it can never be on right well, eventually we can do something with like after X amount of time it will break again and we will do that when it's on maybe but we'll see that later um, so yeah that's this that's that Now let me look in my folders here because I do have a generator sound somewhere. Uh, is it in here? Sound. I'm thinking I have generator sound but this sound basically starts up then it runs a while and then it slows down or it turns off you know what I think I will do Just editing some audio here. Hang in there, gang. I'm gonna export this as a WAF and call this generator start. Generator underscore start. Control C. Cut off the start and the end basically, which is somewhere that I think. Okay. We have the engine running here.
generator running. And then I have one generator stopping or halting. Boop. Beam. Don't save. <laughs> Go to sound design here. Save everything just in case. We don't want any crashes right now. <laughs> Fuck. You know how it is. Now, what I can do here is, um, is broken. It's not broken, I interact with it, it will turn on. Um, then it will turn on, it will do the yeah. Then what I can do is get a random float integer. You know what? I'll do a do do n. Is that just n? Yeah. Integer, yeah. Random int in range. And then we check how long that sound clip of the running one is. Duration 13 and a half seconds. Um They say all good things must end, but it's been too long since I've seen one again. It's over now, you played your role, now it's time to disobey. May not get very far. Let's be honest, I will never be a star.
Um... I'm just checking the This is the way it is Sound in 3D space, adding rain sound. No. That was useless. <laughs> Fuck. Break a for loop. I'm trying to find a way. Make it so easy. Get a place you're 
gonna be the running sound and I'm trying a wild loop now. Ooh, what I can also do, maybe, sounds... Found a new Q, um, SC underscore Jenny underscore running. I can, of course, just loop it in here, bro. Team. Loop indefinitely? Yeah, bro. And then we can basically just, um, in here we can, oh yeah dude, now we're getting somewhere here, put the queue in there, then it will loop until, um, Stop sound, stop playing, stop play, pause, no. Bus. Damn it, where is it? I know it's here. Take some inspiration from how they do it in here. Calculate timestamps.
Oh, here it is. Damn. component fuck yeah all good things must end but it's been too long since i've seen one again it's over now you played your role now it's time to dissipate fucking asshole may not get very far let's be honest i will never be a star Damn it! Asshole! Why is it not working? Hey Amanda, what's up girl? How are you doing today? Three. It uses the... Oh, it is valid? Seriously, so if I spawn the sound and then play it, I can stop it? Dude. Fucking stupid, but the play thing. Or the spawn thing has. Okay. <sighs> spawn sound attached. Now it works. Okay. So it spawns the sound, which is looping. Then it will play it. And then we need to find a way to stop it. And then maybe we can just work with a delay. Delay. And then we use the integer thing here. The random integer in range. Needs to be a float. Random floats in range. Thinking. Um,
Min times. Yeah, min. Time. Min. Max. Time. I guess. And it would be something like this. And then here it would play sound at location. When attached, is when attached to destroyed now. No, actor. Something like this, I guess. Yeah, I don't have to attach it because it uses the location, but yeah. I think I'm gonna break this one and just try and see what it does right now. Now we have a minimum and a maximum time running for the sound. You're trying to wake up, the music is making you sleepy. Really? What do you need to wake up then? Now, I feel like they removed songs from this list. No punk music, god damn it, synth wave then maybe. You need to get your butt up. <laughs> um okay, let's see. So um How long does a day run? Can we uh, can we find that out somehow? Time in minutes from sunrise to sunset. That's 45 total. This is 30 and this is 15. So that's 45 minutes for a day. Okay. So we take this and these are in seconds, right? Delay in seconds. 
so it's basically a minute times 60 45 minutes divided by no time 60 is the amount of seconds and this can run anywhere from one till five days i guess so we've got a calculator calc so it's 45 times 60 is 2700 the minimum time running is 2700 that's one that's one day one whole day let's yeah that's good i guess and then times by 13.5 thousand 13 point oh it's not a point it's let's put this to over oh, there we go okay and right now i am just going to um And I'm going to put this to the thing itself is 13 and a half. So 13 and a half seconds times three is 30. Let's put it to 30 seconds. Let's run this 30 seconds. Then it should stop and it should play. Okay. So. Okay. File well, save. Well, let's see if we we got it to work okay we're gonna try the game here we're gonna save everything first before we break anything always a very very hard course moment hey neo what's up dude where's everybody i'm hanging here in voice chat nobody's joining me i'm all by myself getting creating a spline mesh bro matt get interesting videos dude Fuck. One minute, guys. I uh, <laughs> they're in Discord voice. Best is having quite a rough surprise with the hardcore mission in Icarus. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I hear. I I heard that in the afternoon, uh, Neo. But that's okay. 
That's okay. Yeah, I'm in the other voice channel because that is accessible to anyone who wants to help out with the Unreal project. I'm on the other screen just messaging somebody about Unreal and shit. Um, All right, I'm back. Sorry. Okay, let's see if this mother ducker now works. I'm gonna click play the game. You got a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, they don't want to interrupt my thinking. A frustrated pacifist. Look at it. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. Why don't you come hang out in voice chat, Amanda, with me? Okay, let's see. Um, Okay, it's playing the sound of it's broken or the door is closed. We now take the screwdriver, we interact again. Still not working, that's correct. Then I put it in the equipment. Well, I equip the screwdriver and now you can see I'm holding it, ready to stab someone in the throat. I think it's doing it. Not continuing the sound. Okay, wait, let me check what's going on with the code right here. Okay, so it waited the 30 seconds. Interesting, interesting. Let's try this again.
stupid squirrels. Get out of my way, punk. Okay, doesn't work. Grab the screwdriver. Still doesn't work. Equip it. Oh, the delay already started. Okay. Got it. It's annoying. Hello? No, I am, but what are you? Oh, hi. <laughs> Funny. Um, okay, this, this sound attached is not the correct one. Let me drag it over here so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, play sound at location works. Um, there probably should be a delay in between here. Dang it, I don't want that, but okay. Um, go to sounds. How are you doing, Amanda? I'm just trying to wake up. Nice. I'm trying to reset my sleep this week so I don't have another week like last week on my days off. What happened? You were sleeping during your time off because you were too tired? I had, like, the worst sleep schedule last week. That's not good. We'll be all good now. Okay. And this location. I'm going to the play. So now it should wait. 11 seconds first before this one stops, but that's not enough. It needs to be 10.9. 10. 10.99. Thank you. Because that's what it's set in here. It's taking 9. Jesus. 10.994649. Yeah, sure. Let's put okay. it to 10.98 just to be sure. Okay, if they overlap a little bit, then it will play right away. And then there will be a delay of 30 seconds. Play this, wait, then it will do this. Then it will play this, wait 30 seconds, stop the sound. And then it will play the generator holding sound. This, this, shoot, oh, 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 okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Worried. Okay, here we go. Save. Okay, here we go. Yeah, frust frustrated pacifist is one to look out for, indeed. <laughs> I haven't even been in there. I can only imagine. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, God. Okay, we got it Wait, saved. Get but you requested company, and my cat requested company as well. Hey, you can keep us both company, and your cat can keep me company too. I'm not that into gaming. <laughs> Kinda her who, fault. Who is this cat eating? I know, right? <laughs> oh, okay, we're gonna try again to establish if the generator is not working. Not working if we don't have the screwdriver. We have the screwdriver not equipped equip the screwdriver oh there we go Oh, 
sound up a little bit differently. <clears throat> yes, that's fucking perfect. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now I need to cut up the sound a little bit. Only a little bit though. We just want the middle part of the sound. go and now we should be left with just that's better export Bomb. I don't want to save before close. Go away. Then now I need to replace this, but before I can do that, I need to break it out of all these. Um. Save. Now it should not. No, it is because it's in here. Beam. Save. Now if I delete this, it shouldn't give me any problems, right? Only a memory reference arc. I hate those. Okay, then I will rename it running booked or something like that. Okay, and then I will drag in the new one. Generator running, boy. Boop. Boop. Actually, this was the only place I had to break it out of, but okay. Jenny running. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Dude, this is going so much easier than I expected it to be. That's not good. Why is that not good? Because... If something goes too easy, it's like... It's like one of those theories, you know? Not Oakham's Razor or the Butterfly or the Chaos thingy, but... It's just when one thing goes too easy, another thing that should be easy is going to be too fucking hard, you know? Yeah. Okay, um... Not broken anymore. Let me think. Somehow it keeps playing this sound as well before it does. But that's okay, I guess. Oh, that, no. Oh, well. Um, okay, it's on. Yes. Um, oh, come on, dude. Fucking fuck off, mate. Okay, here we go. 
Mm, no, we want... So if it's not broken anymore, we can basically just turn it on, right? Okay. So what we want then is to check if it's on. If it's not on, we're gonna turn it on. So we're gonna get the boolean is on. Get. Get is on. If it's not on, we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna set that it's on and we're gonna go through the motion. If we interact with it again, we want to basically do this whole code. Uh, no, except for the delay, this one. And then true. If it's all now you interact. You're just not gonna get a choice. If it's only interact with it, it's gonna stop. That's just how it is. Okay, too bad. Uh, oh. Eric says this game needs more cats. Many Ooh. more cats. What? My, our game? <laughs> yes. Well, we can put a cat lady in there, a cabin filled with cats, maybe. I can, I can actually look into that. I like that idea, maybe. Hmm. In the middle of a mountain or national forest for anything without a cat. Hey. If you want cats in the game, we're gonna put cats in the game, okay? That's how it is. Now, let's test this mother ducker. Test one more time if it works. Get a bit and we pick up the screwdriver. If it doesn't work, equip it. Is it starting? No, it's right. Ah, there we go, it's turning on. Hey. Now it's on. That is uh, almost, we're almost. Okay, we're almost there. And then at the end, <clears throat> in the end here, we need to set that it's off. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Am I gonna, yeah, I can do that just here. Um, it's on set on to off. So it's not on anymore, logically. I think at the end of this whole run, I want to set it to broken again. <laughs> Just because we can. Fuck you guys. Okay. Now it's broken again.
Sound waves. I want to search sound waves just so I can get some back. Yeah, sure. If it's if it is not broken anymore, yeah. So the first time he interacts with it, wait, it is broken at the start. Then he interacts. And it's broken it's not on then he checks the thing checks if the screw grabs in the inventory if it is then it's not broken anymore and it's the latest sound oh no it's fixed now that's the first time then the second time you interact you're gonna turn it on okay that's good to remember yeah. okay um Yeah, okay, now it should work, I guess. Building a game, building a game, building, building. Rob C says mountain lions. Yes, that would work as cats as well, right, Amanda? Oh, they're cuddly mountain lions. They're cuddly ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need to fix this text too, dang it. Okay, now it should first do the rattling doorknob. Then now I have the screw driver. So we're gonna do the rattling doorknob, then I equip it. Then the first time I interact it's gonna do <gasps> because that is the text. Like, Alright, you fixed it, yay! <gasps> okay. Now I'm gonna interact the second time and then it should turn on. Does. And then we can either wait for it to turn off by itself or we can turn it off. Oh no shit, I need my lights. Turn it back on. Okay, and now we just wait 30 seconds. Ah, oh, shit, that delay keeps going as well. Like a real generator. Yeah. Now it's broken again. <gasps> I fixed it. I turn it back on. Yeah, okay. Now I need to find a way to reset the delay node. How do we do that? Is there a delay with a reset? Until next stick, re-triggerable delay. There you go. Mm, that should be this one then. Thirty. This one out of here. So if I turn it on now again, 
and this one should re-trigger, right? Perform a latent action with the re-triggerable delay specified in seconds. Calling again while it is counting down will reset the countdown to duration. Yes, that's what we need. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. It's such a simple, stupid thing. But it's just another gameplay element which we need. Am I right? Yes, I am. gonna set that it's broken but we also need to set that it's turned off just to be sure not on anymore it is effing broken and then we okay, oh compile okay. try it one more time <laughs> And then we need the tiny thing about connecting it to the light switch, which is a pain in the neck. But we can do that because we are cool gang. working not working oh misclicked okay there we go primary weapon bam and then <gasps> fixed start it Perfect. If I turn it off now. Turn it back on. Because we can, it should re-trigger and go another 30 seconds. Those are a long 30 seconds. Ah, there we go. <gasps> and I fix it. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. Now we need to connect it to the light switches. This is so fucking exciting. Wait, I actually... There's one more thing I need to check, which I didn't do. And that is, if we walk away, if this sound gets softer or louder or, you know, or the same. Yeah, it needs an attenuation. Okay, that's cool. Located. And now walk away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. That's the one thing we might need. Possibly, probably, mostly. You can still hear it all the way out there. Yeah. Pretty loudly. But that's okay, because we can easily fix that by going into the sound Jenny 
and then we go to sounds and we create a sound attenuation Jenny sound attenuation attenuation and in here we basically said that it is linear inner radius is 400 fall of distance 3600 that's quite a lot um yep um i think visibility yeah inner radius is 400 that's quite low i think i'm gonna put this to a thousand maybe because if you're inside the house it should be lowered anyway maybe this is good let's try this this is just a little bit of trial and arrow um and then i basically just need what i can do here is go to the sound and then the attenu att attenuation setting set this to a variable and then in here i search for the sa underscore jenny we just create no we did not uh hello compile it first probably oh here we go and then here we set the sa jenny beam and then what we do we just set this over here then we connect it to all of the sounds Attenuation settings. This one. And then if we fold it back in, yeah, perfect. It only shows the one here. Good. Keep it a little bit clean. You know, I know it's a spaghetti, but try to keep it the least bit of spaghetti it can be. You know? As long as we know what we're doing. That one has it, this one has it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna comment the code, keep it readable. as it is um. D and then um, if Danny is not already on start the sound uh, play start sounds play uh, on play startup sound loop uh, running sound for x yeah for uh, loop running sound for between uh one, two, uh, what did we do? Five days or three days? Three, I think. Three I think. days. Pretty sure uh, you did five. What? Yeah, I did? Okay. Five. Stop. Break. Uh, uh, halting sound. Halting. Sound break, um, and is broken root. Okay, and 
if Jenny is already on. Stop delay, right? No. Just stop the time. Yeah. Just um, stop running sound play all thing sound. So the trick here is if you just turn it off yourself, it will not break. And then you can turn it back on again without having to fix it. If you let it run its course and it will just play the uh, specified amount of time, it will break and you have to fix it again with your uh, screwdriver, which is fine. Maybe that but... needs to be added somewhere either in the dialogue or a sign of some sort because you can't leave a generator running indefinitely. I mean, it will run for one to five days and that is random. A random float within the range so it will it will randomly choose any t every time you turn the generator on it will choose uh, be anything between one and five days uh, to run then it breaks or it turns off and it breaks um, and if you turn it off yourself then it will not break it will just turn off and then you can turn it on again and um yeah we can maybe do that with the voice line but i mean that is also something that the player must find out himself you know or hear it from the dev streams like right now but <laughs> yeah this is this is done now we need to connect it to the light switch Okay, okay.
Okay. <laughs> oh wait, I can do that here. <laughs> Let's check it out because we have in the gameplay elements here in the light switches section a light switch master. In here we will um create another boolean called um needs Jenny question mark Save Branch eh. This is a nice song. I've heard it like 10 million times, but I like the dark piano. That needs Jenny. If it's false, it will just turn it on that way. And if it's true, Hmm. 
Okay. I'll be vertical for a bit. What, you will be? Vertical? Yes, otherwise I will fall back asleep. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was, I was like, vertical? What the hell are you talking about? Alright, cool. Stop, stop laying here. It's the cat's fault, and all the music's fault. It's all so soothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's just the life of a third shifter. Oof. Although the last couple nights I actually got a little bit of rest at work, so it makes it easier to kind of switch back. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Everybody don't forget to wish list. Yeah, exactly, guys. I don't know how many people are watching, but don't forget to wishlist this game on Steam right now. Not watching. Do it anyways. Bye, bye. Bye. Alright. Got a little uh, testing wall here. Put a little light on it. Technically, this is for testing purposes, so it doesn't really matter if it looks pretty or not, but you know how I am. switch we click lights to switch okay. okay this one should not be visible aka turned off This one we need to click needs Jenny. Oh, we need to turn on. This one needs to Jenny. Jenny is there and now I am going to want to put both of my codes open on the second screen so I can see the code flow 
All right, here we go, guys. This is the exciting part, I guess. All right, here we go. We're gonna click play. Monster, yes, Jenny Monster. Okay. Click the play button. Okay. And let me check real quick. Is that Light Switch Master? Yes, it is. Okay. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, it's broken and it's he it doesn't have screwdriver. He uses the screw. Now let me. Oh no, I can't reach it. Oh no, it's because the fucking mushrooms are too close. Oh. Are you kidding me, son of a bitch? That can't be the problem, but let's just take him down a notch. for way too long right now Beam. okay perfect now what else do we have here that is taking away my focus these fucking mushrooms here there. okay now we have the light switch down low the interactable we have the screwdriver here Put the pickup radius to 85 because it's way too high. And then we have this motherfucker. Okay. Now let's give this another shot. wrong with this fucking light switch oh it's still the fucking screwdriver huh there we go not doing anything that's good wait I didn't check okay let me check the it's costing the cost fails fails so that's not the way to do it yet um.
All right, I've put a little fact check in there. A little control, you know, when it's not 100% working, you um, just uh, try with some print statements. Hey Maurice, what's up dude? Whoa, I am so proud of you. It looks better and better. The lightning, lighting feels like green hell. Thurston OCD is actually an asset in this game design. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, the fun thing is Maurice right now, we're trying to create something and it's kind of going, I don't know how to say it because I don't want to jinx it, but it's going way smoother than I expected it to be or that it would be. So right now we have a generator here. This generator will be behind houses or behind cabins and the radio tower has a generator then if you interact with it and you you don't you, so it's broken right most of them are broken because they're outside right now you hear like a rattling doorknob because that's the basic sound that i have but uh in the actual gameplay you will have some, a voice line like hmm this generator is broken i must have a, uh, i need a tool to fix it or something like that. right so Okay, then you go to the tool, the screwdriver in this case, which we can find right here. Then we need to equip it in our hand, which is logical because you fix stuff with a screwdriver in your hand. Now, if you look really closely, he is holding it like he's going to stab someone in the throat. That's good. Now we interact with it. Then he's going to say, huh. but in the end, it will be um, like, um, all right. I fixed, uh, I fixed the thing now. Let's see if it turns on. So, all right, I fixed the generator. Let's see if it turns on. And because it's fixed now, but it's not yet on, I'm going to try real quick to check my light here. Okay, nice. The ha means uh, the generator is not on. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna turn the <laughs> that sound effect. Okay, now I'm, I'm I'm gonna turn the generator on. Yeah, if this works, guys, I'm gonna be so happy. There's the sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I think you should. Now I go to the light switch. Ah, it's not working yet. Okay. Um not 100% yet, but we're getting there. The cast is working now. It's not get classic faults, then it's probably get actor of class or something. I'm changing some code here on the other screen guys don't worry it'll be okay
Okay. Okay, change something. Let's check it again. See if it works now. Because if it works, it should turn this stupid light on top on. Let me move this up. Ha, 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 yeah. Uh, and you can and you can hook your air fryer on the generator to prepare the frickin' and Exactly, bro. Exactly. And will he have a certain level in skill repair slash electrical to actually fix it? Ooh, that is a good one, Maurice. There is a skill system in the template that I'm using. So, yeah, eventually we might be able to work that into the game. And maybe we can then up the chances of the thing running, running longer. So right now, and this is something that the game doesn't tell the player, but the player can find out themselves. Um, the generator, let me show you the code for the generator so I can walk you through it. This is the code for the generator. Now it looks very, it might look overwhelming if you don't know what you're looking at, but I'll tell you what it basically does. Um, I can set a switch when I place the generator. Oh fuck. When I place the generator in the world, right here, and I click on it right here on the right hand side, there is a button that uh, basically um, I can tick if it's broken or not. So maybe there is a generator in the world that is just turned off but not broken. Um, and right now it, this one is broken so it needs to be fixed first. So what it basically does, um, check if the... Uh, Check if the generator is broken and if it's broken it will for certainty set that it's not on because it can be it should already be off but that's okay and um, then it checks if you have the necessary um, item in your uh, 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 in your in, in your if you have the necessary tool equipped which in this case is the screwdriver if that is not the case it will uh, play a sound cue, which will in eventually be something like, huh, I might need a tool for this, or I might need a tool to fix this old generator, or something like that, right? Now, if you do have it equipped, it will uh, turn the broken thing off. There is no animation or anything right now that might be added later, I don't know. And it will play eventually a sound like, um, ah, good. Uh, uh, something like ah good I fixed the generator now let's see if it will turn on then uh, it will check again if it's broken it is not broken because you just fixed it and then it will um, start the generator and if it's on it will set it to on if it's not on already it will turn it on and it will set the uh, sound so there is a startup sound um <laughs> That is just for now, Rob. See, eventually it's Flannel Dan's voice who is doing the voice acting. Um, but, um, so it will do a startup sound. That is a separate sound. Then it has a running sound. And the, ru oh, come on, dude. And the running sound um, will, um, will be going for an X amount of time. And right now I've set the, the minimal time running. It will choose a random number within one day of a time in game time and uh, five days in game time right now it's to 30 seconds for testing purposes after those after the uh, set time it will stop the sound it will halt the generator that is so there is a like a halting sound so it's like when it's running and then when it's stopping something like that i don't know um and then it will set it the the is on to false so it's not on anymore and it will be broken again now what the game doesn't tell you and the player can find out by himself is if it's already on you can turn it off by interacting with it again and then it will not break it will just turn off 
So what we can do eventually is if there is like a skill in electri ele electrical or something like that to get, we can up the time, increase the amount of time it will stay on um, if your skill is higher. Long story short. <laughs> So yeah, that is a possibility. Okay, so now I'm going to test if the actual, um, yes, if the actual generator is working now. I'm a voice artist, so get out of here. Oh, and the um, the backgrounds for the pause menu and the main menu are randomized between a few pictures. That's also a funny thing. Okay, so I pick up the screwdriver, I equip it, interact with this. It's not on, so it will say something like, Oh, I need to check if the generator out bag is running. Now it will say, <gasps> ah, I used the screwdriver. Okay, ah, the screwdriver. I fixed uh, the generator with the screwdriver. Let's see if it still turns on. And then it might also say, oh my god, it's still working. Now it's running. Now we just need to make it so that the lights go off when the generator turns off. Hey Flannel Dan, what's up bro? We have lights that work with... Uh... Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, if they are already off, then it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Do I want to do that on event tick with like... Um... Delta seconds. It's not very. If then click the lights off. No, it should not do, it should not toggle the visibility. Um, wait, wait, wait. Um, that visibility, that. If it's if is on is false, so it's it's off. Then it will set the visibility to that. Yeah, 
let's just create a new loop of this. Try to make it more efficient. Event tick. Yeah, no, I only want to run it once it's already on, right? Think about this. Confirmed Frickendale Ranger invent lights. <laughs> that did it. I still have the spark. Let's rehearse that line. <laughs> yeah. oh. Hey Dan, I'm working on the generator stuff right now. Feel free to hop in the um, game dev chat, voice chat if you're uh, if you're available. Bleh. I don't want to do this one. I wanted to. Um, to check if it's uh, let's see um i think i might need to make a function or something that i can call yeah function by name time function timer function by name set timer by function name false timer by function name Timer for next tick. Here, if we put that on looping. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, wait. If I add a function and I call this check if Jenny on, and we go in here and we get this code right here. Oh, no, we don't actually don't need this, right? Um, wait, I'm fucking it up. This I need. I need that one. I need this. Next. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Because it's becoming kind of plus the fuck right here. Every two seconds, it will check this function name. Check if Jenny on.
Yeah, then it will cast with Denny to use, then it will get the act class is on. It's on. Create a local ref. Um Denny on ref. That's Okay. Yeah, so we have to get Jenny on ref. Then we get a branch if the Jenny is it checks if the generator is on. Um, if it's not on anymore, it will set the visibility to not visible anytime, any place, anywhere. All the lights that are in there. Um, Might actually have to take all this. Gonna. Yeah, I do. E. Yep, and then it will be off, turned off, okay. Yeah. Would it be like this then? This is looping every two seconds, so it should run this one every two seconds. I don't know how that is going to be performance wise, but it should only be kicked off on the interact. We can actually even make this less heavy, maybe. Um, if we, we, it takes a boolean for looping, right? We can set that the looping to 
if the generator is on loop function um, yeah so the jenny on is basically it checks if it's on or if it's off right so if this is true the jenny is on and then we're gonna set the loop function to true here if it's true we'll set it to on and if it's false that's uh, no set loop this one should be this loop function uh if it's if it's on if the jenny is on it should loop the function to check if it's still on every two seconds if the jenny is off it will turn off the lights and it will also stop the loop i think I think but i'm not sure we're gonna check it the fuck out we're gonna see guys we're gonna see this is interesting let me Put this over here. Hmm. Let me slide this to the side here and make it bigger. Okay, now I can see both the coats. And see what it does. Light switch yes okay let's do another let's save everything and do a play test again and see what's going on gang Okay, let's check it out, guys. Okay, it set the looping to off. The Jenny is off. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to fix the generator. Generator is on. works for now not looping
Yeah, okay, it's turned off. Turned on. Looping is turned on. So it should be. No, though. Why not? Looping is turned on again because it ran the thing again. Now I'm turning the lights on again. It's checking still. Okay. Okay, so what happens right now is the check if Jenny is on will only be it. Okay, so this needs to be re triggered every time, and I hope that this would do it, but it doesn't. So what I need to do who I could do a while loop. And then basically While the Jenny is on. Um. Loop that. No. I'm thinking <sighs> what we need to do here is we want to loop basically we want to repeat this part every time the whole time this part right this I think so but also th this 
should basically turn off the looping here if I do a while loop. Wait, okay, wait. This was going in here. Um, okay, we're gonna make some we're gonna try some spaghetti code here loop body. Okay What I'm gonna do is the um, I'm gonna use the loop function here I'm gonna re-trigger this That is the, that's the problem, right? We want to loop this we can do then is like this in here set the loop function to be true from the start yeah basically this would do it I guess because now it will just and I can even put this timer away and just call the function itself Timer doesn't do shit. loop function is true then it will loop every time and because this gets looped Is there a while loop with a timer? No. Okay, so let me think about this again. So what it does is the loop function is on. It's true. So it keeps looping through the check if the Jenny is on. And then the, if the Jenny is on, it still keeps the loop function on right yeah and this gets triggered every time you interact with the button so it checks if the Jenny is on if it's on it keeps it on and you can flick the lights on and off if the Jenny is off it will turn the lights off and it will set the loop function to off, so it will not run this one again. I think this might work. We're gonna check it out. Shadows are kind of wild. PDX Android, kind sir, when is the last time that you hydrated? Um. just now but thanks for reminding me because it was it has been a while let me actually refill right away thank you pdx android that's very nice the wall shadows what do you mean what do you mean rob c that it's dark in inside the cabin oh the quality yeah 
That has something to do with my computer having kind of a hard time at the moment because I'm doing so many things at once. Let me save and take another sip. Yeah, cheers to you too, PDX. Thank you so much. Hmm. My test wall has weird shadows. You mean when it's on, when the light is on? Well, you see, Rob, that is because the light fixture... I'll show you that in a second. Oh, one minute, I'll be right back. Yes, okay, I'm back. What did you mean? Want to become famous by followers, primes and viewers? No, thank you, uh, bot mister. My test wall, Rob C said, had weird shadows. Do you mean the shadow of the sun and the trees that are here right now? Or do you mean the lines of the actual fixture oh, that this light model has? Because those are the lines, if you mean that. That is uh, from the lines on this fixture. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so what was I going to do? Yes, I'm going to test the code again. The light shadow when it's on. Yeah, that's because the light fixture has, um, has actual metal rims and those create a shadow as well. That is how good the quality of this nudge gets. Um, okay, let me see. I want my code in full view. Yeah. Hollow, click it, mother. Okay, here we go. If I interact now. Yeah, okay. This this should, but I've said that so, so many times. <laughs> I'm afraid to say it again. But boy, if this works, I'm going to be so exhilarated. Might need to put a delay in there because now it might check a lot of times. But we'll see. Okay, so right now. Oh. Okay, it o oh, okay, it already checks the whole code. Hmm. That's okay though, because it's not looping and it is actually checking if the genius on code is doing it as well. 
right? No, it's not. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Wow. The code is not getting past the while loop once the looping is false. Well, then I can stop it right here. Then I think I'm gonna do a... Get here. Can I connect these both? Yes, sir. Right again. Boop. Quality wire. Hi, Dan. I'm working on a generator system right now. Pretty interesting. Screwdriver. Check it. It runs. Checks. Yeah, then it does complete. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to equip the screwdriver again. <gasps> Fixed. Turn it on. It's actually good that it takes a few seconds before it actually runs. Then we can fit a voice line in front of it. Okay, now the light is on. I'm gonna interact again. The light goes on. Uh, it broke. <laughs> Why did it break? Why did it break? Infinite loop detected. Yeah, that's the whole point, you motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. It's annoying. What if I do it like it? Branch. You know what? I'm gonna check in the in the what is it? The level blueprint, the HUD, the game mode, the game mode. Um. Here it is. Why does this work then? Can I exit? Oh, wait. The whole code is in here, right? Ooh, okay. Could do that. 
Um, My head starts to hurt. I have to think too hard. Voice lines coming soon. Oh, fuck yeah, Dan. Awesome, dude. <laughs> Record your own generator noises. Um, okay, so if I want to do a looping... And still do the same thing I did here. Basically, the only thing is I will not use a while loop. Ah, close enough, perfect. <laughs> nice, good one. Um, I think I'll just kind of rebuild this. Um, is it on? Then the Jenny Rev will also be set. And we will need a branch. And if the Jenny is on. If the Jenny then is on, then... we want in here then because that's gonna be back there then and this is the part where it will check if the if the um this will check if the generator is on if it's not on it will turn the lights off and set the loop to not looping anymore so it doesn't loop the function anymore Then if it's true, we can toggle the visibility in here, but that really, it doesn't matter that it's separate. Okay, control C, control V. So, on, if it's on, and then we want to set the looping function. I think that's all there is, and then we delete this, and then we do um, that timer by function name. Through we set this, get the looping function. And the function name is this. And the timer will set to two seconds. That's a good one, Dan. Well, I actually have a pretty good generator sound, which I'm using right now. I uh, So we have right now, Dan, just to walk you through it. Um, 
what will happen when you uh, come across a generator i need at least i send it to you as well i think and that's basically what i'm building right now um basically when you're in the house and you want to turn on the lights and nothing happens i need a voice line from something like um oh the generator must be out again i will go check on it then the generator will have a stat whether it is broken or not if it's broken you will need a certain tool in your inventory so i'm gonna use different tools so just maybe keep that a little generic like um oh it's broken i need a tool to fix this uh, or something like that, right? So you walk up to it and it's like, oh shit, it's broken. I need a tool to fix this. Then um, you equip the tool in your inventory and you interact with it again. And then it says, uh, then you say something like, um, yes, I fixed it. Now let's see if, I, if it still turns on. Okay, so there is a... Um, um, I need a tool to fix it. So the Jenny out back. The Jenny must be out. Uh, I need a tool to fix this. I fixed it. Let's see uh, if it turns on again. And then when it turns on. Yes. It turns on or something. Or yes we got power. Or I actually kind of like what Maurice said earlier. Uh, where is it? He said. Um. That did it. I still have the spark. Something like that. I think it's funny. I like it. Just see what 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 fits you, and then we can turn on the lights. And we can maybe. Nah, um, no. Let's not. Let's not do that yet. But you can. Yeah, you can try to record a line as well, or when the generator turns off again. Um. You can say something like, um, ah, Jenny must be blown out again or something. I don't know. Just think about it. Just, just do it. You do you. You know what I want. You know what you can do. Make it work. Okay, let's... Uh, I have to be so patient and I don't like that. Okay. All right. Okay, grab that thing. Interacting with this doesn't do anything. Interacting with this one fires off the code. Then it sets it, and the generator is turned off. But it's looping. Why is it looping? Oh, and then it will stop looping, right? No? Yeah, it will. Okay. Interesting. Okay, oh, that's fine. It's fine. Let's just first check the rest out. <gasps> Turned on. Go. Generator is running. Turns on. Now the lights will flicker on and on, on and off. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. Bitch.
Okay. Loop function is on. It starts looping. It's not 100% working yet. Let's see if this works. Curious.
Um, one more time. What if I Jenny on crew? What if I create a while loop again? Boop. to loop that, that one again. And then we just don't use that one. This one will set the generator on or off. Yeah, okay. Try this. Such a pain in the neck. Jesus. Ah well, that's the process, you know. All right. running now I'm going to turn this oh God. fucking ass fuck why is this so hard to do fucking infinite loop detected but I need a loop Oh my god. This is frustrating. Why is this not fucking working? Damn it. Okay, let's go over it one more time. Does it need a generator? Yes, it does. If it needs the generator, it will loop this function or not. It should re-loop this function. Why is this not working and the other one is other ones just keep running Should put a delay in between this one as well just to make sure that the 
nothing actually changed. Second, so that it can actually check if. now so it loops in just forever i guess timer handle to pass to um okay so this just runs every two seconds once it's triggered oh wait how long to wait that's why it's wrong going wrong okay so it just runs at zero aka right away same with oh Oh, it just went away. Oh, okay, fine. Um, yeah, so it will run. And then a second later, it will check if it's on. And then it will... Well, one second is kind of long, isn't it? Put this at 0 0.5 or something. Then it will check if the generator is on. If it's on, it will set the generator reference on. And then it will flick the lights on. Then this one should be looping. Which is an infinite loop, but I guess that is then fine. And it keeps checking. And if the... If the lights are then if the generator is on it will set the reference to on and that will use it here if it's off it will use it in here and then it will turn the lights off and set this looping thing but we don't use that um, it keeps checking every time What I could do here is another branch and check if the generator is on. Generator is... This by default needs to be off, which it is. Do that. Here, if that is true, it will just that way we circumvent the infinite loop, I guess. Yeah, let's try it out. I don't know, it's just a little bit of puzzle, right? Okay.
It didn't do nothing. Okay, now it keeps checking it. Okay, now it's on. Code keeps checking and it's still saying it's on. The light goes on. Goals. Oh shit, dude. Is it actually going to work right now? I just need to wait a little bit until it turns off. Yeah, there you go, and the light turns off. Oh shit. The only annoying thing is it keeps checking now. Now I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna connect the loop function again. See if that works.
If it's if the thing is on, we want to set the looping on again. But how do we make it loop then? It's on. How this works. This is the problem. You click it and nothing happens, it still keeps looping. Because it never. I mean, if I click it again now, it will stop looping because the looping off. Again. Oh. Might actually not be too bad. Wait. If it's off by default. Off by default, and then. I now turn on the ray the Jenny light will turn off and it will not be moving. That's the problem. Okay, so 
that loop function is just it. I'm not gonna use it for now. I'll just be looping all the way. Team and team. I set a looping condition. Loop functions. Jenny is on. It doesn't work either. Fuck. Then you click it and the generator is on and the loop function will be on, but then it will never get this anymore. Damn it. Okay, control Z, 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 Z. Oh no, it does. Oh yeah, the thing, thing. Also, it will. This and it will set it to Ah well, okay. Then we're just gonna we're just gonna we'll just do it like this. Save it all. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. What if
Okay, so you click it, it checks if the generator is on. If it's not, it will check if it's on. Check if it's on, wait five seconds or half a second. We'll check if it's on once, half a second. If it's on, it will turn the lights on. If it's not on, it doesn't do shit. Click it again while it's on. Just some lights. I'm thinking right now, what if I kick off another one of the set timer by function name, like right here. And then set this one to looping. You need to think so logically and out of the box. Yeah, I know you're not seeing it because I need the screen space. <laughs> but uh, basically what I'm trying to do here, and I'm trying to walk you guys through it, but it's a little bit hard for me, even for myself to understand because I'm looping back and forth. Um, so if you click the button, it checks here if the generator is on or not. If it's not on, it will start the, um, it will do basically when it's not on, it will start if the, it will do a, um, well, if it's not on directly when you click the button, it will run the function to check if the generator is on. And um, this one doesn't loop. It checks it after 0 0.1 seconds. It waits for 0 0.5 seconds. Then it checks if the generator is on again. If it is, it will flick on the lights and it will run that um, <clears throat> same function as this one, but now in a looping condition, right? Um... The problem I'm having with this thing is that you can set the looping <clears throat> with a boolean, right? So I can use a boolean to set it to true or not. What I can do in the other side of the code here is when it's off, set the looping to off. The problem is, however, the function runs, but it it loops but it doesn't recheck this because it all runs within this thing um <clears throat> What I, the thing I want to do 
is to run this basically in a loop until the thing turns off. And then it doesn't have to loop over this function anymore because that saves resources. Because whenever this code runs, it checks if the generator is online. And it basically calls to the generator the whole time and that costs resources. And um, I'm trying to create a loop somewhere and I can either run this once and make this whole thing loop basically while it's on I want to loop this maybe that's how I can do it I'm <sighs> while loops are a pain in the ass though While it's on. If it's through. While it's on. Loop through here. And if it's off, it should stop. Now oh, we can try this again. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy, but it's so stupid because there should be an easy fix for this. And there is, but I'm just not, I'm just not thinking of it. And the infinite loops are a pain in the neck. I hate them. Getting warm in here, my computer is also struggling. Jeez. <laughs> and it's stress, okay? You see, I told you guys in the beginning of this stream. Oh, everything is going really easy. There must be something. <laughs> and here we go. Fuck. Damn, dude, damn. Okay, here we go. We run it once. That stops right there, that's good. Right again. Runs only once, that's actually good. All right, that's actually good. So when it's turned off, every time I click it, it runs once to check if it's on. Okay. Now, I equip this thing, <gasps> fixed and turned on. Now I click this and it creates an infinite loop again. Why? Why? See, that's why I fucking hate the, the while loops.
Don't try it again, and then it will just keep on looping. I guess it's okay. I guess it just has to be this way.
<laughs> I guess it works now, guys. Oh my god. Trigger ball, ball time or ah well. Okay, it works for now, dude. Just don't break it, players. Okay. Fuck. I think we got it, guys. There's just a little thing when you keep turning it on and off again. Really fast after each other, but that is something that we will fix in another lifetime, maybe. Probably, maybe. Probably not. Maybe. Hopefully, maybe. Yeah, Rob, exactly. Spam the on off button? No, Dan. No, fuck, no. Delete the static mesh. Drop down a. Let's see. We're gonna create a child's blueprint. Props. Jenny's. And this is the Jenny child um is this the northeast yeah northeast cabin
detail is a broken yes Yeah, this one will need a screwdriver for now. And then the light switch inside the house, right here. I will click on it needs Jenny. Jenny to use and this will then be the BP interaction location. Jenny Child Northeast Cabin. All right. Okay. Lights inside the house. Any more switches that I need to take? No. Okay. And now I believe there's also still a problem with this door. Is locked? No. Okay then that should not be a problem now we're gonna test this of course right away by placing a pick up a bowl okay now play this on the camera position works okay cool we walk up to the floating screwdriver Damn. go inside it is going good i see hello is somebody there in voice chat yes hi frost what's up yeah. bre what's up i just wanted to say hi and see how hi. things are going they're going great, bro. Yeah, I see. Looks good. I mean, it's not great because I had a very stressful moment before. Oh? Glad I didn't see that. Don't hear the sound. Oof, that's not good, but okay. Yeah. Are you working from home tomorrow? Oh, no. Yes, yes. Yes? Good. Okay, so that one is okay. I should wear something. Or not. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> okay, let's just fix the generator and see if shit works here now. Because it might be that it can't find the generator because I made something go weird there. <gasps> Yes. I need to find it first. Okay. The generator is on. Yeah. Oh my god. It works. It works. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Nice. Oh, and the most beautiful part is if everything goes according to plan now, yeah. right now, I can just flick the lights on and off if I want. That's all fine. The generator right now runs for 30 seconds for testing purposes. Here, there we go. Oh shit, it turns off and the lights turn off. Oh, my God. oh so the generator turns off, 
when the light turns off? No, the other way around, of course. Ah, okay. The generator runs for a specific runs for a certain amount of time, and yeah. eventually, like right now, it's thirty seconds for testing purposes, of course. Yeah. And I have made the code now so that it runs between one day, randomly between one day and three days, on five days, in-game days. Oh, okay. And um, then it will turn off. You can also turn it off by hand by just interacting with the thing again, by just walking up to it, pressing E, and then it turns off. Yeah. If the, the trick is though, and nobody knows this except for all the people that are watching right now and have already wishlisted the game, of course, on Steam, um, is that if you turn it off, it will just turn off. You can turn it on again. If you do not turn it off yourself, it will turn off after the time runs out, but it will be broken again. So you need to have the screwdriver with you to make, to make it run again. If you drop the screwdriver somewhere because your inventory is full or whatever, you will not have power. You're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> or not because you don't have the screwdriver. Exactly. So this is so cool. It fucking works, dude. I'm so happy. <laughs> I've been working on this all night. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, that's so empowering, dude. Cool. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Boop. Yeah. So, how were your your guys's adventures in Ikarus? It was good. Uh, we we're almost ready to do what we think is the final leg of the journey. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I thought it was easier, but then we remembered it was a. 28 day mission. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's available for 28 days. So it takes quite a bit of time to actually finish. Wow, yeah. Uh, I imagine. Yeah, so when when they got there and saved me, uh, all the way down in the south, and we activated the thing, we found out that we actually had to make everything all the way up to. Uh, machining board. Oh wow! Machining table. Not only just well, not the electronic one because we needed the uh, power. Oh Jesus! We need the biofuel generator. And that's yeah. But the mission is also worth. I think it's six hundred and fifty and two hundred and fifty from the exotic. So. Hmm. Wow, that's like that. interesting, man. Yeah. Let's see, create a child blueprint, Jenny child radio tower. Now the funny thing about this one is I'm going to change the picture of it or the thingy generator, like the one that was standing here, which is basically a big old trailer. But this one is gonna is broken as well. And this doesn't need a screwdriver, it needs a wrench. And where will you find those items, I hear you ask? I don't know, and I'm not the one to tell. Oh. Oh. Let me get some toolbox in the shed. No. Maybe. No. Probably no. Logical. <laughs> well, yeah, you might find them in a toolbox. <laughs> you might find them in a toolbox, but I'm not gonna say where. This, there is a cable coming from it into the building just because I can. Right. And then these buttons are going to be clicked. Um, meet Jenny. Yes. Which Jenny? This is going to be the BP underscore. Wait, can I just search for Jenny? Yes. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. Yes. The radio tower one. Um, yeah, that's good. Same with this one. 
Yeah, just wanted to say hi and ask if you were working from home tomorrow because then I might text you for, so you can enter the course and harvest money. Yes, hmm. exactly. Free money. Free money is something I always like. Free Icarus money is even better because these are hard to come by. Especially if you almost never play anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's another one. Yes, needs to Jenny and uh, the radio tower. Um, Bomb. And those are the light switches. I think. Yep. Oh, now everybody has seen it already. The wrench is here. Oh, okay. Now, well, it needs a new place then. You guys ruined it. I'm no, just kidding. Okay, so we have the generator here, which is basically the same one as before. Then now we just need to test that it actually works. Oh, seriously, dude, there is only like three songs in this playlist. The fuck's going on with this <laughs> thing? Going back to emo music. Fuck this. Yeah, it is super awesome, Neo. I'm very happy with the results. And, um. Oh, Frost. Yeah. I also uh, created the roads and the paths towards all the POIs now. Oh, nice. So we might have to update the map. Might not. Yeah. I don't know yet. We'll see. Yeah, we will figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Interact with the door. They open. That's good. Okay. Need to change the wrench pickup radius okay. nothing happens that's good but how much of the how many of those places are actually needed for oh jesus christ for the the thing we're making now the demo the pre pre release demo um well only like what two yeah. No, I don't know. I um, I I I wanted this Jenny thing in here, and I have a few other things on my list. Like the, I can package it now and send it to you guys. The thing is though, oh wow, the errors are piling up. Um, the thing is though, um, I can uh, you say that um, I can give it to you guys but i need the trailer and that is the most amount of work actually okay that's a who as in i think thing now it will start making noise nice. i might actually change those sounds to have a lower pitch for that machine because it's a bigger machine that would be nice I now turn on the lights here before it turns off again. <laughs> yeah, that works. perfect. And these lights actually need a different switch. Right. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that is so good. Oh, and it falls. Oh, no. Power's out. I need to fix Jenny again. Fuck. There's, there's no YPBR, all right. Let's get it going. <laughs> no, it's nice that it works. Or, as somebody once said, I love it when a plan comes together. Exactly, Hannibal. <laughs> 
Why is everything thrown? Oh, it's the, oh yeah, okay. Oh, that's fine, actually, if that's the only error we're getting. Yeah, I'm getting a whole bunch of errors for the updating the HUD on the car. But the car is actually not being used while I, while I play like this. So it's okay that that throws errors. Save everything. Nice, everything's safe. Okay. Just wanted to say hi and see how things are going. Things are going good and hi back. <laughs> so I will go to bed. Go to bed, you. It's one again. Sleep is for the week. Oh, fuck. <laughs> how long since you looked at the time last? I think about one and a half hours ago. Wait, no, it was eleven. No, it was ten thirty or eleven thirty. I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to put in one more piece of functionality before I go to bed, and that is a scrollable um, camera zoom on the character. You're in nice. third person. Yeah, I noticed that the car that we have for the trailer that is also drivable. Oh wait, let me first, before you go Frost, let me quickly show you the roads that I made. Oh. So here we already had the path towards the um, uphill cabin here. Second, second, second. I don't have the stream open. I just closed it because I was getting ready to look out. And it down now. Yeah, now I see it. Okay, so this is the old river, dried up river thing that is now also a dangerous path to walk upwards towards the main house of, well, William. Needs to be replaced yeah. with a nicer cabin. I also created now a path here towards the radio tower. Yeah. And we have an actual dirt road because we were talking about it last time. I think it was with you or maybe sne maybe with Sneaky. I don't know. Maybe both. That we have this big old generator and pallets inside. I think it was Sneaky. We have pallets and shit inside. And he's like, yeah, how are you going to get in there if there's no road? Well, fuck you, Sneaky. Yeah, there's exactly. a road now. <laughs> so we have... Yeah. We have a dirt road here now that goes over into a asphalt which connects to the other asphalt here which basically runs down two sides of the map all the way over here. And let's see, we can also expand the road up over here and then maybe in the future we want to look into possibilities for a bridge or something that goes over the valley all the way up here. Maybe if we want drivable cars, I don't know yet. I'm not saying it's going to be here. Possibilities there. And I created a road before we only had this one right here, this loop here. With the dirt road towards the visitor center up there. Yeah. Now I created a T crossing here with another road that goes down the valley this way. With a dirt road that goes towards the abandoned village and that goes off of the map here. Which then in turn could be uh, tapped off this way. For that bridge over to the other side of the valley if we want to in the future let's see and there is a nice old hiking path here through the other side of the forest because this side was pretty much unused and it still is but who knows we have more pois that we can bring in maybe exactly oh and the visitor center is now locked you need to find a key somewhere good luck guys okay not too yeah okay yeah that's pretty much uh, what i wanted to show and then uh, right now i'm going to try and put in the scrollable 
zoom. And that will also fix a lot of my camera jankiness. So let's see if that works. And um, yeah, sleep well, buddy. Thanks for uh, stopping by. And uh, that's what I want to show you. Cool. I'm looking forward to the next step. Me too. The next step is basically you guys giving it a playtest. So. Oh, well, here it is. It's actually. Uh, Good night. Yeah, good night, buddy. Thanks so much uh, for uh, showing up. Well, this should be fairly easy to put in. Er Well, that should be it already, guys. Let's see if it actually works, bruh. I made it just in time. Oh, hey, man. I welcome back. We got it to work, bruh. I'm so happy. What are you working on right now? Um, zoomable camera. 
So, what I'm hoping is that, oh yeah, it works. Pretty important feature too. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's nice, especially when you're walking inside a building or something. Just getting closer, you know? Like, a, you know, a gamer, that's an important feature for me, I know. Yeah? I had no idea it was important to be now. It's awkward without it. Okay. Well, it's in here now. It's good. You know, the best part is I could just steal the code from the drivable car that we have. That is not in the game for players, but it might be at some point. Wishlist now on Steam. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, boy. So far away, though. Guess that's kind of good. Is this close enough or is it still too far? No, that's close enough. Yeah, right? If you want to get really close... Bloop. <laughs> First person. Yeah. Look at that old man crutch. <laughs> Wait, you can't get close. I can't get closer. That's interesting. Hmm, I knew there was something weird with the camera changing. I now go like this. It still goes there. Okay, that's great. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. This is kind of weird, but okay. Nice bud. Yeah. Okay. Well, that might need some work, maybe, perhaps, probably, but it kind of works, okay? What is making this so weird? First person perspective transform. That's okay, yeah. Camera is good. We need to pop back, yeah. Two T T T no. Back. Perspective alert transform. This is the that's the smooth transition. Finish to third person on. Um. 
But it is this one though. Once it is done, camera track. Third person transform right here. Death World transform the ref. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want it to get. I don't want it to get it from there. Or we need to set it correctly. Um, let's see. Let's see, where it's EPP ref. Oh. Uh, let me think. The third person perspective transform it gets a little camera. The third person detach. Set the TPP transform. Um, that's the transform, and then here it sets it again. But why does it set it here if it doesn't call upon it anymore? Does it? Oh wait, it does. When it goes to third person perspective. It doesn't. It goes there. Mm. Take your words back home I could try to take it out and then use the original one from the follow camera, but I'm afraid it might break everything. Because there's a reason we had to set it up. Save it before you break it. Yeah, <laughs> will do. These are on top of each other, but they are so unnatural. Mm. Just, I think I just kind of have to set a third person transform reference or something just at the moment that the perspective is changed oh when you change from third to first so to third no you're going to first so here it sets the transform
Yeah, I think I know what the problem might be because it gets detached here. It just floats somewhere in, the, in space and then you get the ref and then you set that and then it will get attached again. Yeah, there you go. Okay. We'll get back to camera boom. There's a way we can make it. I mean, we can put the ref cam a point where it's more natural, like this movie. Seems like my mic just keeps slowly but steadily flopping down a bit. Here, it doesn't even start at that. It starts with the. I think I see it. It's like um, the actual camera distance or something. The thing I notice is that the camera, like if you look at the viewport here, this is the actual camera that we should be using or that we're supposedly using um, as the camera, as the third person camera. Uh, however, it says 300. Where did I set the 250 then? Oh, 
arm length is 300 and where did I set that? I know I, s I changed it somewhere. Not oh my god. Where though? Let's bring on this one is 250. What is this one? What if I change this one to 250 as well? Somehow it uses the zoom arm idol. Can be shit there. Might have to uh, tune the maximum down a bit. <laughs> it looks like a fucking <laughs> leprechaun. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, but now I can't get in any closer anymore. It's so weird how that works. I need to look into that. Hmm. If you scroll down, you go out. Maximum is 1500. That is a lot, dude. Put this to 800, maybe. The minimum is 150. That's put that to 100, I guess. Maximum to 800 as well. know why this is times a weird number but let's see how this does
Okay. Now it doesn't do anything. World. Oh wait. It doesn't scroll in or out. It's weird. Okay, so it does need a. Okay. What were the originals? 1.1 1 .1 and 0 0.91. Weird how that works, but okay. Check it again. Yeah, that's better. A little far, but okay. Looks like a leprechaun, at least. Yeah. Okay. How about feature I would picture using for screenshot functions? What this? What do you mean? Yep, the character is not in it. If you want your character in it. Why is it going through now? So. Oh. might have to set when you go back to the third person uh, might have to set the when you attach to the where is it here to the camera boom What if I do it like this? If I just upon changing back to third person set the camera boom uh, length back to 300 again. I don't know if it's gonna work, maybe it will f everything up. Why 
así, bonitos. You know what, what, what I'm really afraid of? Like, I'm really, I'm really happy with all the things that I got in here working for now. I already know that once I'm gonna give out the first playtest copies, people are gonna be, Oh, you know what will be a cool feature? And then I'm like, yeah, but do you know how hard it is to create? I don't even know where to start. That's that's the thing, you know. I've had a several things that I want to do, but I it's just too advanced for me right now. It's and I people are gonna come in and like, oh, you know what? It's gonna be a cool feature. No. Oh, maybe you should. No. <laughs> okay, going back in. Well, there are then... things that you can do now. I'm sure that you couldn't do a lot of this at the beginning of this project. Through. Uh oh. So you'll find some different stuff out that you don't know now, and uh, that's not the <laughs> death. I want a helicopter. Hey, no. <laughs> God damn it, Tursen, I need it now! Yeah, me too. Okay, this is not fixing it. Actually breaking it. Try this. <laughs> nice. huh? No, but there's like a lot of stupid things that I would love to have different with the inventory system. But this inventory system is really advanced. And that is partly what makes it great. On the other hand, it is also what makes it um, harder to edit or change. And yeah, that's kind of a trouble. Okay, well, let's see what it does now. Boop. Hundreds. Hundreds. Loop. Loop. Again. Okay, that's weird. That is not the fix either. 
maybe I'll just think it's okay for now that it's a little bit janky. Yeah. I did. I tried to keep world. Maybe keep relative. Let's see what that does. I don't know. One of the last things I'll try and then I'll change if this doesn't work I'll change it back to what it was and just call it a day Uh, um, lakeside cabin, yes, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. That's better. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll, I think it's beautiful. It works perfectly almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Save it all. Save it all. Save it all. And now I just need to do some cleaning up in my folders here. But can you guys see that? Yes, you can. Now the reason that I put this stuff on here, my face over this area, is because I uh, changed, or, well not really, I, um, I have created um, some, well I don't really want to call it puzzles per se, but I changed some stuff, and you guys are not allowed to see that. Aww. Because it, yeah, no, it will, uh, power cable. Yeah, okay. If you guys see what I, where I move these items, it might give away gameplay elements. And that is, of course, not cool. Um. <laughs> This item is here for now. Will go away there. 
Because it's already ruined. Mm, this I'll just put in. Test one right, yeah. That's deleted. Ah, yeah, that's the power cable at the radio tower, which is connected to the generator just for aesthetics. Are you giving it away, YouTuber? Yeah, that's not important part, so that I can do. All right, save it again because I organized it all. Organize it all. There is one little thing that I also want to fix kind of real quick before we can do a play test and that is the stupid fucking deer that just kind of gets stuck at some point and I don't know why. BP deer though. Deer there. Now in the future once we are far enough to actually uh, put them in uh, you we will have better animals basically but for now is it in here where did i put them is it this one so yeah it is type next action could run false right Boom. I think this is the just gonna set it to random roam for now. So in the future we will have... Yeah, good. Um, in the future we will have... Um, we will have animals in the game. And I already bought a cool package for that. And I'm very excited. It's uh, it's an uh, animal AI pack. Which has a lot of features. Like a lot. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool, man. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah pretty cool. And we have a lot of animals, well not a lot, we have a few animals that we can put in. We have a fox, and we have deer and doe, we have a bear, we have wolves. And it's funny because right now I see that, but I... Need to check something because I saw something in one of my backups the other day, and I am not sure if... What I saw there was... Weird or not? See that?
Hmm. Oh wow, we have horses? Nice. We have beagles, but these all don't have animations, do they? Oh, that's kind of sad. Or do they? Oh, wait, maybe they do? <gasps> they do? Oh, shit, bro. How about that, dude? Some free roaming. Oh, we have a tiger. Zebra? So. Hmm. Well, then I don't remember where I saw that, but I saw it. Oh, here it is. I don't think that's working. Does, but I think it's broken. I'm gonna save this first, close off the program. And then I think I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. I will uh, try some more stuff tomorrow, maybe. And, um, yeah, I'm ready for a play test with the, um, with the people who, um, work closest with the, with the development, do kind of like a little alpha play test to see what systems can run the game and what the hell happened to your eye there, buddy. Anyway, um, yeah. So I um, am going to then do a little playtest thing with them, see how well it runs, and um, yeah. Then uh, when, once we know that it does or does not work, we can change stuff up on there. And then comes the big old um, cool stuff, and that is when do we decide we want to go in early access with or without a very hard disclaimer you can go in early access make the game available to the public and add the story content and everything along the way or we wait longer add more story content which is going to take a longer while um but then you get kind of a feel for the game now and then it has replayability when the actual other features come in and you can check the Steam page right now for the included features at this point and the future uh, ideas that will be included in the future. Check it out now. Steam. Oh yeah. Yosemite Forest Ranger. Coming, coming to a store near you. Soon. Alright, yeah. I uh, guess I will be uh, heading off then. Amanda, thank you for joining and hanging around. I uh, will check one more thing before I actually close off, but it usually takes a bit for this to load. And if it does again, I don't want you guys to have to wait for that. So I'll just uh, go do the rest of the stuff that I need to do before I get ready to go to bed. And um, yeah, thank you for hanging around and for watching. Thank you Rob C for being here the whole time. I appreciate that. 
Amanda, thank you for hanging around. You know you're muted, right? All right, cool. And uh, yeah, talk to everybody later. And uh, keep your eyes open on the Discord and the Steam page. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful evening. And uh, don't forget to stay thirsty. Bye.